Hello. Today we are going to teach you how to extract text from images using the AWS Textract API service. At the end of the video, we will show you the accuracy of the extraction, so please stick around. Many businesses still use manual methods to extract data from forms and documents, which is slow and expensive with low accuracy. Or they are using traditional out-of-date OCR software to extract that data automatically, also suffering from low accuracy. AWS and other online services use state-of-the-art machine learning algorithms to extract text from images. These algorithms are quick and efficient, and most importantly, have a much higher accuracy. You can use this to build automated document workflows by processing images, then storing the results, and using those results in other processes. Some examples would be loan applications at a bank, incoming student applications at a school, or medical claims processing. There are a few prerequisites you will need in order to run this code. We will explain these in detail in the video. We use Python and Jupyter Notebooks in VS Code to demonstrate this. You will also need an AWS Cloud account to set up the code with your credentials later. You can find more information on how to set this up in another video. Link is in the description below. We will cover the basics on how to connect to AWS for API communication, also how to prepare and send your image to AWS, and details on the output from the API, especially considering the confidence level in the output. First, you need to install the Boda 3 package from AWS. It is used for connecting to the AWS service and handling the API connections. We use Conda to set up all our Python environments. It simplifies installing libraries and setting up different environments for different applications. Conda Create will create a new environment for this application. This takes a few seconds to run. Then we need to activate this environment to get it started. Next, we install the packages in our new environment that we will be using, including Boto3, IPyKernel, and the version of Python we want to use. This can take several minutes to finish. After we run this command, we can list all of the packages that were installed by running the conda list command. You will see a lot more packages than the one you selected in the conda install command. These include any dependencies that they need in order to run. This is one of the features of using conda. It will install the packages you select, find all the packages that it depends upon, and install them also. We have a separate video that explains this in more detail. Links in the description below. To use this new Conda environment in our Jupyter Notebook, we need to install it using this command. Then we need to select it under the Select Kernel option. We have created a GitHub repo for this code. This is the link to that repo. This is what the repo looks like on GitHub. We have other repos available with code from our other videos. If this is the first time you are using AWS Cloud on your computer, you will need to set up a credentials file. This will be used when you connect to AWS, automatically providing the credentials for the connection. Here is a link to the credentials setup instructions. Follow these directions to set up your credentials file. You will use this with any APIs that you access from the AWS cloud. The file needs to be located here. The tilde character points to your home directory. The credentials file will use two key value pairs for the two access keys provided by AWS for your account. This is the format. Setup is over. Now it's time to run some code. First, we import the Boto3 package that we installed earlier. Then we import a library that we created for parsing output from the API. This is the library code. It will parse the output into key value pairs or into lines or phrases. We will see how this is used later on in the video. If you haven't set up the AWS credentials file yet, you can uncomment the section and add your credentials here. Otherwise, you can just create a client to AWS connection using the Boto3 client function. This is how you communicate with AWS, sending commands and receiving output. We will be using a driver's license as our example image. We have used the same driver's license in our other OCR videos from Azure and Google Cloud. If you are interested in how AWS compares to the other main cloud providers, watch our videos on Azure AI Vision and Google Cloud Vision. Links to these are also in the description below. We read the image into a byte array to use later. When we call the AWS service, our output will be formatted into several levels, starting with page, then lines on the page, and finally words in each line. This will help us later when we check the accuracy of the output. 
Here, we use the Boto3 Analyze Document function in client that takes our byte array as input along with the features that we are interested in extracting. We select the tables in our example, but forms, signatures, queries, and web selection elements are also available. We print the output here to see if the API call was successful. To view the output, we look for the blocks keyword in the output, then look for words in the blocks and append them to a list. We can also look at this output in phrases or lines by using the get lines function from our Textract functions library we showed you earlier. To get an idea on the accuracy of the output, we print the output line by line, then show the confidence level in each line. Confidence level is a measure of how confident the algorithm is in each element that is detected. 100% is the highest confidence. There are some values that are closer to 50%. These can be caused by anomalies in the image, such as small or fuzzy text, text that is located on or near a background image, etc. When we compare the results of the text extraction, we can see a lot of text that was extracted correctly with high confidence levels. Examples of this would be the driver's name, date of birth, address, and other details. Some possible issues include the word states. It doesn't appear on the license, but may be coming from the stamp image in the background. One mistake out of 25 lines gives us 96% accuracy. To run this on another image, we go back to the image source and change it to a different file, then rerun the notebook to see the end results. Once again, we see a lot of accurately extracted text. Here we notice some issues when the font size and color change. The FN and IMA are concatenated together incorrectly. Same for LN card holder. But the date of birth and date are correctly read as separate words. One other mistake is the word on, but with a low confidence level, we can safely filter that one. Two mistakes out of 28 lines is 93% accuracy, still very reasonable. Amazon Textract can be highly accurate when extracting text from an image or document, especially when the text is typewritten. Handwritten text is more difficult, so the accuracy will go down. To test this, you can run our code on your own images using your own AWS account. Let us know the results with your testing. All three major online clouds have excellent text extraction services, including an API for including in your own custom code or web page. If you are not using one of these for processing images and documents, now is a good time to get started. Costs are low and results are impressive. AWS Textract extraction fees start at $1.50 per 1,000 pages. Thank you for watching our video. Comments and suggestions are appreciated. See you next time.